Uh, my name is Jeff Bradley. I'm a co-founder of the Cascade Commandos. Uh, we were founded back in 2005, I think, so we went to our first big uh, scenario game put on by TOW. Small group of people, uh, co-workers, friends and family is what our team pretty much consists of. It's a 1986 Subaru GL wagon. It already had the 6-inch lift kit and the 31-inch uh, tires. Back in 2006, I believe, uh, we went to a few games, a few scenario games, where somebody showed up with a tank and we're like, oh, this is going to be sweet. We show up and it's like a riding lawnmower with plywood sides. And uh, we went to a couple other games where they had a tank and it was uh, an old van that they had the windows broke out of and they just would shoot out the windows. And uh, me and a couple of my team members were like, yeah, we could make something totally better with that. But I kind of want to ask, like, it's our smoke. Baby oil is what the smoke generator Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me. Okay, we need to back this shit up here. Wait, we have a smoke generator? Aircraft Oh, I guess. Come over here, you can see it better. We're going to have to Dukes of Hazard it now, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, this is an aircraft generator smoke oil for ultralight airplanes to make smoke trails in the sky. It uses mineral oil. Um, or $25 a gallon aircraft smoke oil, or same stuff, baby oil from the Dollar Street. So this is the reservoir right here, okay? There's an electric electric uh, button here that turns on a pump. It pumps the oil from here out underneath the um, tank into a copper line which is preheated on the exhaust pipe. And then once it's preheated, it, it's pumped into the actual exhaust pipe right after the exhaust manifold and then it's super hot and it atomizes the smoke and the smoke just dumps out the exhaust pipe. The baby oil stacked, packed everywhere we can go. We get the creepy looks at the dollar store when we're asking, do they have any more baby oil? And you're standing with a cart full of baby oil. Beeper, so when we back up, so if we're backing up, we have the beeper. Um, this used to be for the choke, this is the starter, so you flip the ignition on. Hit the starter. Um, this is our uh, backup camera. There it goes. For safety issues, we can see a lot better out the and These are the strobe lights, or they're dead lights. This is the on off valve for the uh, oil, or else it'll just drain in their gravity. And this is our PA. We tell players to get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. So this is a custom, custom uh, job here. Pretty much started uh, taking some body parts off and start uh, welding a metal tubular frame. And uh, a couple different design concepts with the basic shape of the Subaru to start with. And uh, we modeled it after a Panhard. It's a French light infantry uh, scout vehicle that the UN uses. Um, we actually had a guy rolling the Super Game a couple years ago and he was in uh, Bosnia with the UN and they were rolling in panhards and he's like, no way, somebody's got a panhard here, super game for the, for the game. And, and then when he came over and started looking inside of it and he realized it wasn't actually a panhard, it was a Subaru. <laughs> so, uh, so this is Pandora. Um, it's a plywood body on a steel um, one inch tubular frame. And um, we, we spent a good amount of time you know, with the body design. Um, um, me and a couple of my, uh, my team members and um, their sons and now my teenage sons and um, it's kind of morphed into this. We've had a couple different designs with the turret. Um, some things worked, some things did. So this is probably mod four, <laughs> four or five. Wait, so is it important? Well, it wasn't actually holding it in. Uh, so probably not. By 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 uh, Subaru specs, yes, it was important. By our specs, now we're good. Yeah, you know what? We're good. I started playing with Cascom in 2011, um, right around when this thing first started to take shape. Actually, we 
happen to live next to Jeff. He saw a very strange Subaru being chopped apart next to me and kind of got into it. Um, I had a background in some fab work and welding, so kind of from the ground up, we built this thing. Um, hacked off part of the Subaru, rebuilt a metal structure, laid some beauty on top of it. So there are a total of 10 speakers and three amplifiers. And we love blasting tunes while slaying fools at Super Game paintball community is and since we're paintball tankers it's just it's another evolution everybody knows you can't go buy a paintball tank right it's something you create it's almost like art you know it's something you create you design in your head and you work on and you think about and you're neurotic about and your wife's like what are you thinking about tonight oh I'm thinking about my paintball tank and you know and so when you get another person that's addicted to this kind of weirdness that we do you're like ooh you understand my crazy, you know? Jeff will call me, hey, I got a minute at work, hey, I'm gonna pick your brain about this, you know? And we'll talk tanks for a little, oh, I gotta get back to work, you know? And he's a sheriff, you know, we do that all the time. And uh, it's it's cool, I've, I've gotten ideas from other tankers by helping them build theirs that's made my tank better, you know? And I'm sure that's been, been the case for other people that I've helped, you know? And uh, it's just cool, you'll never see the same paintball tank. You'll never see the same anything, it's so, uh, pure.